All right, we're back. Just doing a few things over here. Put the other swing arm in the hole. Dirty rags need to go in there. Stuff needs to go away also. Yeah, can't see what's happening, see? All right, see so some junk out of my way. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make the oil tank work. So I bolted all this stuff here together down here. So I got our bracket bolted in. We have misalignment problem with these bolts up here. We've had this problem all along. So if you look real close, you can see the this one here is too low. And this hole here is too high, so I need to slot out the oil tank or the or this plate. I'd rather do the plate, not the oil tank. So that means I have to slot this one up higher here and this one lower here. So I got my rat tail file right here to work them over a little bit. So, so you can keep fighting this stuff or you can fix it. Kind of see where you're at on the hole. So I'm going like a 45 degree angle to bring it more this way. And then after you do that, you go the other direction to widen it out that way. It makes the bolt fit real easy. Okay, now the bolt has lots of free movement. So I can move it in all different directions now. Before you couldn't move it in all the angles, you couldn't line anything up. Okay, so now this one fits correctly. So what I'm going to do is make this other one the same way. Now this one's going to go the opposite direction. So you go down. So now I'm going to have to push it toward me. Make them where they both kind of work the same, they don't fight each other. So you can round the holes out in both directions. Okay, looks like we got the holes pretty well lined up now. So this one here should work good, and this one here should work good too. Lots of clearance, and lots of clearance. Okay? Everybody's got clearance, clearance, clearance. I got a little mess on the ground too. All right, so get our air nozzle over here. And of course, the nozzle decided to blow right off. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. I don't know what it hit, but it hit something and knocked it off. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. Remember, you want to build custom Harleys. This is how it goes. It's always a fight. A 
Get all the dirt off. footsie with the airline there you go okay so now we're gonna put the oil tank in here we're gonna to try to get these bolts to start and not fall off now they have no way of holding them on so that'll be fun and the flash now I can see with it all right Already falling out, maybe not going yet. Okay. Pass coming from this side. Alright. That didn't work too bad actually. I was shocked. So we put our washer up in here. Nut spacer. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the other side. I can put it in there, but I don't know how we're going to hold it. I guess I'm going to bear hug it like this. Ah, pinch your finger. It's okay, as long as it works. Okay. It starts a lot easier than did the first time we did this. Not fighting everything like we used to. Don't get me wrong, there's still no room up here, but. Okay, that one started. Yeah, looks like it almost fits now. Okay, looking a little bit better on how it goes. No, it doesn't want to start now. Something's different on this side. There we go. I think. to be. I think it wants to be right there. Go over here. It needs to come over this way, I think. It's kind of where it wants to sit right there. So It's going to dictate where it wants to be until you modify it to go somewhere else. to sit right where it is. Okay. Oh, let's get my wrench 
in there. This one's shaved down a little bit more, so. Okay. Yep. There you go. Right. Okay, that one's in there. Full torque. The tank needs to go that way. Yep. Too far to the right. It's full torque, but it ain't in the right spot. So let's get it from the back view. Obviously, this is in the wrong spot. The chain has to come up through here. Actually, the chain's got plenty of clearance. It doesn't look too bad. This plate doesn't look square at all. But I don't, it doesn't look like it torqued in there. Yeah, see, it's not torqued in square either, so. Those bits aren't torqued at all. They're just laying in there. This tank here is flush there, and see it's way out on this side, so it needs to go this way to square up in the bike. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen the tank up a little bit, try to heave it over a little bit where you need to be, try to figure out why it wants to be over in this spot and not where it needs to be. Okay, that's got clearance. What's keeping it from moving? Something is not letting it go. My guess is up in this, these holes up here are probably the problem. So let's go look at the stock bike again and see if there's a difference. It might fit in the bike's sideways stock. We just happen to have a sample of a bike over here, so. Okay. Uh, it looks more even to me. Yeah, it's sitting in a frame equal. All right, so I think we're going to have to do is we're going to have to slot out the holes in the plate a little bit to, or something like that, to make it go over further. Assuming that's what it's hitting on. It might be something as simple as hitting on the bracket over here too, you don't know. Obviously this side here is a lot lower than this side, which is causing some issues I'm sure. But these are all unknown things that have to be dealt with. That's got a lot of tension on that screw right now. And these are not unscrewing easily, they're fighting. There we go. It's under a lot of binding load, probably because this plate's being held up in the back by the, the... Okay, I need a big, big nut. Something big and bulky and stuff under there won't fall out. Yeah, probably about that high. This one needs to be welded onto the frame to equalize things. So 
I'm going to equalize it right now. Get kind of more real world dimensioning. It's not wanting to go up, that's for sure. Oh, we're hitting on the old tank over here. I forgot about that. That's what it's hitting on, the old tank. Hitting on the old tank. It's hitting right here. It comes over and hits the top of the frame right there. A little bit of gap, no gap. So, this whole oil tank has to go back further on that side over there in order to let this tank do what it needs. My guess is this one needs to be slotted out also, but definitely the other side. That allow hopefully allow this to go up in the air and make it work. These aftermarket plates usually don't fit very well. Yeah. So I have a genuine Harley one floating around here. I just saw someplace. I think it was over here. I was hunting around for that bracket. So I saw a plate someplace. Yep, there's one. Oops. Just lost some hardware. There's a Gino and Harley one. There's a bunch of missing hardware went down the hole over here. Whatever that was all for. <clears throat> so Gino and Harley's has six holes, aftermarket has four holes. But Taiwan Teddy is now reproducing a six hole one also. So. Now this one's obviously been customized for special applications. So this looks like a special application to me. So, even a piece of crap like this goes for big bucks. So, we got to do is lay out, see if these holes line this all up against the, this plate in here and try to match up the length and stuff and see if that's a problem. My guess is it probably is. But that's something we have to do down the road. I ain't got time to deal with it right now. So for now, I'm going to have to live with it. So I can't do my primary fitment too good, but for now, the height is going to clear all this and it's going to get up higher when we put the brown nut under here, which will take care of some of this. But then it's going to get even closer in here, so I think what we're going to wind up doing is modifying this bracket. We're probably going to wind up cutting it to lower it or something. Or just make one from scratch. I have to do something different because I can't... The tank's not going to go any closer and you got to put paint on stuff so it's going to actually go back. So I'm not sure if we can go back far enough to make it work. We're getting real close to this bracket here. Now I can bend this up a little bit. I was thinking about putting the ignition switch right here, so I'm all right with that. So there's always lots of little things that get in the way. But for now, I'll tighten it back up right in that spot. See how far it moves over. Let's put pressure on it like this. Let's see what we get. This one moves it over. Because if it's cocked like this, I tighten this one down, it raises it up. So it moves it over. Alright, so I'm going to leave this side loose. That keeps me slightly better in line. It's 
still way out. It's closer. So, so we have lots of problems with that. We do have this end though, so there you go. All right, let me clear all this junk up around here and we'll be back.